it. To live life strong, we all must mount up with wings as an eagle. So let's apply what we gather from the concept of like an eagle. Let's get pragmatic here. Number one, you must see like an eagle. An eagle's eye is almost as large as a human's. It is estimated that an eagle can see four to eight times better than the average person. They have a 340 degree field of view, and that's what we're really talking about here, is having vision for life. Many people see, but they fail to have vision. That's a blindness worse than ocular darkness. To have clarity like an eagle is really about perspective. The typical view of an eagle is aerial and from high above. To see like an eagle is really about having vision and seeing what others don't, seeing opportunities and solutions. Jesus tells us in the book of John that with the Holy Spirit's help, we should have knowledge of things to come, see what's to come. Now that's vision into the future. It's perspective and it's prophetic. God wants you to have spiritual eagle eyes. Irving Berlin, the famous composer of over 800 songs, and a lot of them so famous, said this, life is 10% what you make it and 90% how you take it. Perspective. We must learn to see beyond like an eagle. Number two, think like an eagle. It's not enough to have God's power to fly if you don't think flight thoughts. Chickens don't need eagle powers to fly when they're content to scratch around with the other hens in the chicken coop. If attitude is everything, then having power to fly like an eagle is pointless if your attitude is that of a turkey, right? Did you know golden eagles can reach altitudes of over 10,000 feet? They make use of the thermal air currents and face into the winds of adversity. They mate for life. Eagles are committed no matter if it's to their mate, the hunt, or flying above the storm. It's time for you to start thinking like an eagle. Get the attitude of an eagle. You do it. Colossians 3 verse 2 says, set your mind on things above. You weren't designed for chicken barnyard thinking, so think like an eagle with God's word and the help of his Holy Spirit. Number three, identify like an eagle. No, you're not an eagle, but we said earlier, even God compared himself to an eagle in a metaphor. My friend, your identity is key to who you are. Jesus didn't come just to save you from your chicken identity, to stay a chicken, or even migrate over into being a turkey. Let go of what you were and be reborn into a new identity. The eagle is considered the king of the birds. Jesus is the king of kings. You need to let go of what you were and accept who Jesus has authorized you to be. Surrender your chicken ID card and soar like an eagle. Eagles build huge nests. You know why? Because they're eagles. You need bigger dreams with a bigger self-image in Christ Jesus. The word says, behold in the word of God as in a mirror, the glory of God and be transfigured into ever increasing splendor from one degree of glory to another. Jamie Foxx, the famous actor and comedian said, if I were an animal, I would be an eagle. Good choice, Jamie. You don't know who you are until you know who God says you are. Jesus told Peter, this is who you are. God called Gideon, mighty man of valor. Stop seeing yourself as less and identify as Isaiah 40 verse 31 said to, like an eagle. Number four, feed like an eagle. Newborn eagles feed like eagles long before they ever learn to fly like an eagle. They have a high metabolism, which means they need a serious constant food supply. You need your spiritual identity fed often and regularly. If you eat chicken food and peck around the barnyard looking to fill your belly with whatever, you'll never soar like an eagle. Like the saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. Jesus said, man can't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. God wants to feed you directly from his mouth. That's how young eagles eat, directly from their parents' mouth. Isn't it time that you start to feed like an eagle? That requires waiting on the Lord, my friend, actively waiting with expectation. And number five, 
Mount up with wings like an eagle. That's what it's all about, being activated. Just because you've never flown before doesn't mean that it's not for you. If you're not flying, it's because someone is lying. What kind of lies are you buying into that keep you grounded? This is the action stage. You must act on the wisdom that God gives you. Eagles don't live in the nest. They live on the currents of the air that cause them to soar far above the earth. God doesn't call you to flap, but to soar. Scientists have watched eagles soar effortlessly in what appears to be hurricane force winds because of the special design of their seven foot wingspan. Isaiah 40 verse 31 specifically says that you will mount up with wings as eagles. That means you're called to soar, my friend. Let the currents and the hurricane winds of adversity work for you to take you higher and higher from one level of glory to another level of glory and another. Yes, to live life strong means that you must wait actively on the Lord so that you can mount up with wings as eagles. Be activated today in your true identity. 